I'm sitting out here by the fire. It's a beautiful night and just reflecting on the uh, camping and hunting trip that I had. Man, it was just awesome. We got there and uh, I, I showed up a few hours after the other guys. They got an evening hunt in before I got there. And while they were finishing up the evening hunt, I uh, started a campfire and started getting the truck ready for, uh, for me to live out of it for the next four days. And got everything cooking and the fire going and it was just amazing. I saw some turkey, uh, some deer, all kinds of wildlife just going by the camp. And the next morning we got up about 4 a.m. and I made some coffee on the percolator over the campfire. And and we're drinking our coffee and headed to the front uh, gates of the ranch to meet up with the managers so that we knew what uh, sections we were hunting in. And we were bow hunting our first day. All right, guys, so uh, we just got taken out to our stands. It's just over 50 degrees, not too bad. It's probably going to drop down about 5 to 10 degrees before the sun comes up. Got about another hour, hour and a half before it's shooting like we got out here really early. But uh, we are hunting feeders. Um, that's just how we do it in Texas. I know that's not uh, what some of y'all consider real hunting, but um, I'm really actually hunting right now. Um, but uh, I'm only about 15 yards away from where I laid out some corn and hopefully some access doe come out this morning. I'm trying out the uh, blackout uh, broadheads fixed blade and I got some carbon express arrows so uh, they've been shooting pretty good for practice and uh, we'll see how they put down an animal um, this morning we've got a set we'll be out here for about three and a half four hours and it's gonna start getting warm we'll let them cool off chill out during the day come back out this evening but uh, maybe I'll knock out a couple of dough this morning and be able to rest all evening so stay tuned finally after it seemed like 10 15 hours it was really like an hour and a half I was sitting there and uh, this little button buck wandered up on his own and started eating I mean he was maybe five yards from me and uh, let's just say I hadn't been eating the best and he smelled me. Um, he didn't smell my clothes, he didn't smell my body, he smelled other things. But it was just so awesome to sit there and watch him. And He'd look up over at me ever so often and go back to eating. It was just so good to, to see nature again. He stayed around for about an hour and a half and finally made his way out. That afternoon we gathered around and we had lunch over the campfire. We shot our bows and really got them dialed in and uh, just had a really good time together of, of uh, hanging out, and shooting bows and, and, and just having fun. Alright guys, we just got out here for our second set of the day. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and get the camera set up, finish getting this uh, blind set up. We're in the same spot. I think there's a lot of promise here. We had kind of a cold spout hit um, overnight. And uh, I think everybody just kind of hunkered down for the morning. So uh, I feel pretty good about the same place. Let me get this set up and hopefully one comes in. We can wrap up uh, getting a couple of them tonight. So here's to it. The evening hunt, we all sat in our respected stands and really didn't see anything. You know, it was a combination of a full moon and a cold front that came in. Nothing was really moving during the day. So we went back and we made an amazing meal of steaks, Elan steaks that Jack killed 
uh, while he was over in Africa and uh, sliced up some potatoes and some zucchinis and stuff like that, wrapped them in foil and cooked them over the open fire and uh, just had an amazing meal uh, that night. 